Hey, my name is Feridun Kian, and I am glad to see you are as interested as I am in the Iranian demons. The forgotten old demons who were actually resurrected by Iranians almost four centuries after they had already converted to Islam. By now, although most Iranians had adopted brand new Arabic and Islamic demons, some of them were nostalgic about the old Zoroastrian demons. Thanks in part to the master storyteller, Ferdowsi, and his book, Shahnameh, the Book of Kings. One of the most intriguing demons are dragons who appear in many of Ferdowsi's recounts from the old Persian texts. You see, in Persian mythology, which Ferdowsi was reading or translating, various types of mighty dragons menaced the heroes. Although, personally, I think, it was the other way around. So, Ferdowsi's demons are painted in a two-dimensional landscape, perhaps to leave more space for heroes. We have one exceptional demon that is relevant to our history today, as well as our mythology. You may call him a man for all seasons, the never-ceasing Zahak. Perhaps Iranians have a love love uh, love-hate relationship with Zahak. That's why uh, every few generations the myth of Zahak is recreated. Zahak's story begins with a downfall of a benevolent king named Jamshid. Jamshid, who in a long reign provided for his people safety, health, and bountiful life, one day looked back at his majestic throne and it so occurred to him that no one in the whole world was as powerful as he was. Thus, he created himself to be God. This was the beginning of his spiral demise. People became disenchanted and the shahs of various states became as angry as Jamshid as ordinary people did. And they formed a research team to find the just king. Let's see if I can now transport you to far away land, to the other side of River Tigris. There Ahriman, the Satan, appeared to a young priest na prince named Zahark and told him that he could be king of kings if he murdered his father, who was known to be a just king. And after he finally agreed, Ahriman plotted the murder, and Zahak became the king of that state, and soon forgot about Ahriman's help. The second time Ahriman appeared at Zahak's pa palace, he came in as a chef. You see, before this cook, Everybody was vegetarian, but Ahriman came up with a series of new recipes. Roast ducks, pheasants, lamb, and veal flavored with saffron and rose water, wine, and garlic. And vegetable was used only as decorations in the dish. Zahok felt a new vigor with these new dishes. So he wanted to reward the cook. But Ahriman, the chef, had a strange wish. All he wanted was to kiss the king's bare shoulders. So that night, Zahak let Ahriman have his wish and kiss his shoulders like his lover. But no sooner had Ahriman kissed his shoulders that he disappeared. He disappeared like dark into the night. Morning, the king's shoulders ached, and then two black snakes grew out right from the spot that Ahriman had kissed. With a great pain, Zahak ordered to chop the snakes off his shoulders, but the next day they grew back. They hissed and whispered and entered into his ears. The king could not focus on any other matters in the kingdom. 
For the third time, Ahriman appeared to the hawk, this time as a physician. His prescription was most frightening one. The snakes ought to be fed with a stew from brain of two young men every day, and in time they will die, or at least will bother you no more. That was Ahriman's advice. It was not too long after this that the Iranian envoy crossed Tigris. Because they had heard about a just king on their way to the southern states, they took Zahak to be that king. They brought him back to the capital and bestowed on him the title of king of kings. For many years the young men were ordered to the palace and no one understood to where they were sent. Parents thought that their boys were sent off to various states by the army, but many years later the rumors had spread of what had really happened to them. Every parent's heart ached with sorrow, but no one dared to question the hawk, until Kaveh, the blacksmith, who had lost a few sons to this three-headed dragon, rebelled. He set out to find the boy Feridun, who had appeared many times in the hawk's dreams as the boy who would knock him to dust with a mace designed like a cow's skull. Kove flied his blacksmith apron as a banner of freedom and called it Drafshekov Yoni. People gathered around him and soon they found Feridun who had grown up as a valiant youth. With people who had followed Kave, Feridun's new army marched past Tigris and seized the palace. Zahak the sorcerer arrived with sword in hand, but he was no match for the young warrior. With Feridun's first swing, the tip of his blade pierced Zahak's side. Snakes, scorpions, lizards, flies and frogs poured out of Zahak's wound. So. They had to quickly stop bleeding to avoid Ahriman's creatures to pour out into the world. That is why Zahak was chained to Mount Damavand. And this is just a summary of Zahak's story because he is still alive and well south of Mount Damavand. For those of you who love mischief, I have good news for you. In Zoroastrian belief, Zahak will break loose and roam the earth once more at the end of world. Zoroastrian had a unique fascination with a special breed of demons called Deeves or Devils, each with a unique talent. In part 5, we will talk about Deeves, some of whom you know, although you may have forgotten their names. Satash who constantly offers you treats if you have stray from the right path. Div Oz or Greed is the one who swallows things thus having no more constantly needs to find something else. The Najwa Div who whispers to us to do things we would normally would not do. The Book of Kings also is filled with demons such as Akwan the magical Div who changes shapes and disappears and appears. He is the king of Divs who can throw a gigantic rock from China to Turan, today's Turkmenistan. Arjang Div, as well as the mighty sorcerer Div, Div Sepid. There is a Najwa Div at the end of each episode. As soon as I am done, it jumps on the reviewer and tickles their curiosity. Ignore it, please. I promise, divs won't bother you if you don't know them. They only haunt people who know them. If you did not hear the whisper, you will do fine.